Jim is to the Prime Minister. Prime Minister, are you already engaged in mission creep with talks underway for Australian forces to fight in Iraq? If you can't rule this out, will you at least bring the matter here for debate? And will you allow a vote on my bill to require parliamentary approval before troops are deployed? I call the Honourable the Prime Minister. Well, I do thank the member for Melbourne for his question. It's a very serious matter and it deserves to be taken seriously by the House. Uh, and certainly uh, I take it seriously and the government takes it seriously. Um, Australian uh, forces have already been deployed, as the Leader of the Opposition and myself uh, have acknowledged, uh, as part of the humanitarian relief efforts in northern Iraq. And they stand ready to engage in further humanitarian relief work in northern Iraq. Uh, as you know, um, President Obama, uh, witnessing the atrocities uh, unfolding before our eyes, uh, witnessing what he called a potential genocide of the Yazidi people and others uh, uh, in northern Iraq, uh, has deployed United States forces. Uh, and thanks to uh, the airstrikes uh, carried out by United States forces, uh, the ISIL advance uh, has, for the moment, uh, been halted. Uh, and the siege of Mount Sinjar was lifted. Uh, so, Madam Speaker, uh, I think uh, the world should be grateful uh, to President Obama uh, for effectively deploy deploying United State fo States forces for this essentially humanitarian purpose. Now, uh, Madam Speaker, uh, uh, Australia is uh, a very close and uh, very supportive partner of the United States, uh, as is other countries such as the United Kingdom, France and Canada. Uh, talks are going on between uh, the United States and its close partners on what can best be done uh, to continue to relieve the humanitarian situation in northern Iraq. Uh, I do assure the member uh, that uh, this government uh, won't commit forces uh, without the fullest possible consideration, uh, without uh, the consideration of Cabinet, without consultation with the opposition. That's the way it always has been and that's the way it always will be. Before I call the honourable member for Mitchell, 